all, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey, and I'm doing a reading for whoever may need it. If you're new, welcome. Hi. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you, y'all, for all your kind comments. Thank you so much for um, putting your input, helping me in areas when I don't know an answer, um, helping me put things together. You think you don't know, but I can. your energy does support my energy. And when we vibe together, answers can come through for what you're needing as well as what, um, what others may need. Dropping comments, um, putting your positive energy towards the reads, um, even saying, hey, uh, I think it's this. You know, I can pick up this, I can pick up stuff like that. I see apology. So let me get to the point here. Holy Spirit, if you please protect my energy as I read for your collective. And I ask that um, you protect them as well. Those of, of love and of the highest vibration that love and support you all. Okay, so this is what happened. I had a dream at 7 this morning, 7 a.m. Um, during the dream, I hear God talking to me. I don't know which rim it was, but I heard clearly, forgive your family so that you can get this download. Now, I was like, hmm, what that mean? Right? <laughs> I was like, what that mean? So I was like, okay, well, it's kind of hard to forgive somebody if you don't know what they've done. Unless you're talking about the things that we already know, right, y'all? Like, unless you're talking about what we already know. Um, because we do know a lot, so we do need to forgive and let go. Again, forgiveness is for us. This doesn't mean that we go back to these people, right? It doesn't mean any of that. It means for us to understand that nothing happens by accident, that everything is planned out, that we're all learning. This, these these um, things that have happened to us um, are to teach us and to build our spiritual muscles. And even though we may... Um, the thing about what what is very hard for us, especially when we're in these human bodies and in human form and we're still young and we're growing, as I see two, 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 right? We have to make a decision um, as we have to make a decision to forgive. What we have to understand is God, source, Yah, Allah, whatever you believe in, the most high, he loves all of his children. He loves all of his creation, all of it. Okay, no matter how we feel about it, if that triggered you, then that's something you may need to work on. But he loves all of his creation. He does not love, it's like this, okay. God sees the person, not the energy that they may, that may be dwelling within them. Because a lot of these people doing the things that they're doing, throwing spells at you, taking from you. These are entities that have attached to them. Okay, so it's not that God hates those people. God hates the energy that's attached to them. Do you see the difference? It's just like if you have a child, right? If you have a child and one of those children is just like completely just doesn't seem to get it. You got one child just gets it, does everything they need to. I'm seeing that a guy on TikTok. I can't think his name, Cyrus. And he's like, um, he does these skits. He's funny. Y'all see if y'all can find him. He's an African guy and he's like, um, he does like kids from the 70s, kids from the 80s, kids from the 90s, kids from the 2000s. And it's so funny because like one, one child is always like, yes, mama, I will do whatever you say, mama. And the mother says, I wish there was a million of you. And then this is like the 2000 kids. The mom would be like, okay, I need you to do this. I, why? Blah, 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 blah. So basically what I'm trying to say before I make this longer is if you have a child that goes rogue, you still love that child. You don't love what they're doing, but you don't hate your child, right? So well, some people may, but the proper thing is you don't hate your child. You just hate the, 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 how they're acting. Like, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So if your child's having a temper tantrum, right? And maybe it's a big one. It's all in the store. It's just everybody seeing it. Well, you don't hate your child. You hate how they're acting at the moment. As I see 444. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for confirmation. So this is what, what they're trying to say. They don't want you to hate these people. They're not saying go back to them. This is not what we're saying. They want you to understand how 
out how this all works, how energy works, how energy and entities attach to people. Um, that we're here to love ourselves unconditionally. That's what we're here to learn and to love others unconditionally as well. That's our lessons. And those who are getting these big payouts and et cetera, et cetera, they have an understanding of that. They may not have it perfect, right? It may not be perfect, but there's a good understanding that, okay, there's no sense in me trying to tip for tat, fight back with y'all, argue with you, or even hate you or be mad at you. It's not worth my energy. My energy, thank you, 533, my energy is focused elsewhere. Because guess what? I know that the universe is taking care of me and I'm always going to get what's mine, period. No matter how long it takes. Thank you, 544. To take, no matter how long it takes, I'm going to get mine. And that's what this is about. So this has to do with good news. So when I woke up... Um, yeah, I heard that. And then right after that, I was like, okay. Thumbs up, look at my clock at seven. I'll say, okay, that means something's coming to an end. So then 25 minutes later, I hear a knock. So this was my in-between realms. I love, uh, the divine is so cool. Because it's like I'm in between realms. I'm here, but at, in the sleep realm at the same time. So I hear this knock. And... uh Someone opens the door, but it's full of light. It's full of light. And I was like, I even, it was so like real that I said, even after upon waking, right after having my eyes open, because the angels do that a lot to me. They'll knock on my door or on my wall to get my attention. And I was like, you know, and I still entertain. I don't know why I do that for, to myself, but I go, I was like, who is it? To see if it was one of my children. And of course, I hear nothing. <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen. And I said, okay, look at your clock. Clock says now 7.33. So I said, okay. And as I'm looking right now, I just saw 7.07. So 7.07 might be ringing up for people. So lots of sevens are popping up. Something is coming to an end. Thank you. I'm hearing um, something is being illuminated. And there's an ascensioning happening. Something's coming to a close. Something is an ascension is happening. And it has something to do with good news. Okay, that's something to do with good news. And I'm trying to think, some other things happened to me last night, um, God and I, between the conversation. Um, but I won't say much about it because it may not make sense to you. But basically, what I got in a nutshell was, I was like, God, you're up to something. Divine, you are up to something and it's something good. And I see 55. Yeah, something is going to change. Um, and a, I apologize. The clock was not 7. It was 7.05. So I, something was coming to an end and something is changing. So lots of 7s, lots of 5s, 33. And something, it has something to do with good news. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what else we can find. Let's feel what else? What else is happening? What is going on? Now I'm going to continue the rest of this on Patreon because I know it's going to get. We're probably going to dig deep. We're probably going to get dig into some more. So, and these readings only they end at 15 minutes. So Holy Spirit, show us, give us a good idea of what is happening here. We've got commitment. Let's take a look here. What else is happening? Live and learn. So I feel like something had been restricting you in the past, but that restriction is coming to an end. Curse. Yeah, something. And I feel like there's something on the bottom. So these have come to a stop. We'll get into it right now. So. Somebody was committed. I'm getting two things with this card. Somebody was committed to destroying you, a teacher. Okay? Um, you could be a teacher. You could be a reader. You could be um, a person who just, you would not realize how much you teach on a daily basis, especially if you work in the public anywhere. You can teach with a smile. You can teach with just a word or two. It's how we teach. You'd be surprised. So I feel like, 
you were committed and so were they. So, okay, so so your, uh, your opponent, I'm getting that. You and your opponent were both committed, okay, to teach you something. Because, again, we have to go through opposition to build those muscles, those spiritual muscles. You both agreed to this. Okay, so even during your living, you were still living and learning. This energy was thrown at you. There was a curse on some of y'all. Listen, the sooner you can admit it, the quicker your blessings will come. Because again, you had to go through it to build some spiritual muscles. Some of that shit did get through. Okay, I mean, it just, it is what it is. But it's not happening anymore. Okay, that energy has now cleared up. For the majority of you, I talked about it. Anybody, you guys have been like having energy done to you or things done to you since 2000. Um, <clears throat> some of you I even read like somebody said early 2000s. I've been picking up energy. This stuff has been going on for about 2000s. I know for sure, for sure, 16, 17 it begun. Some of you before that. This has not been, thank you, 1111. This is an energy that's now catching up and coming to a completion. So this is like, this has been going on for years. This has been going on for years, okay? And I apologize for the noise in the background. If it gets too loud, I'll tell them to shut up. Because these people have now had to come to some type of compromise, okay? Most of you, it was not just one person. They worked with somebody. There's no way you could do what you were doing to these people, especially if you were types of healers or empaths and you're covered. Um, okay, somebody's saying in the blood. Okay, all right. I ain't mad at you. Okay. If you are covered by the divine, you're covered by, your protect, by the angels, archangels, all of that, they had to have a team. Okay, they had to have a team to work against you. They've had to come to some type of compromise. They were backed into some type of corner. Um, I'm also hearing a plea. So maybe they were getting a plea. You know, they had to do something to get a plea bargain. If they didn't give it up now, it was going to get worse or it was going to go longer or I don't know. But there's definitely something here about compromise. Yeah, and now they're scared. Some of you, this is related to a partner. Okay, I've been picking up for a lot of partners. Um, this has been done to you by partners, okay? But yeah, now they're scared because they don't know what's happening. I'm getting, I'm hearing that clearly. They don't know what's next. They don't know what's next. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's find out more about what's going on with them. What's going on? Whoop, 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 whoop. Too much. Okay. But I do see this. Yeah, they're under judgment. I'm hearing that's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> so they're under judgment. They know it. They've been caught. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time before those of you, others of you find out. So with the imagination card, I'm clearly getting the divine is saying, be clear about where you want, where, where you want to go, what you want to do. What do you want now? Because a new life, I see 33. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A new life is beginning for you. It's coming, and it's going to come suddenly. So be ready. I have it already written out. Know what you're going to do. What if, you know, put your plans together. What if, you know, what if this were to happen, you know, at this time? What if I was asked to, that, to leave? Like they suggested, I need to move. Where would I go? You know, what if they suggested I needed to change my name? What would I change it to? Because some of you are going to have to change your names. We talked about that. Again, more fear and abundance. So some of you, it's going to surprise you. I feel like this, I feel like some of you are going to have this fear because this fear is going to surprise you. It's a fear of like, oh my gosh, this really happened. Oh my gosh. It's been so long, I didn't think it would ever, ever happen. I don't even think this is real. And it has to do with abundance. So I'm going to end it there as I see 33. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more, hit the subscribe. If this is um, as far as our journey goes, well, thank you for allowing me on your journey. I appreciate you. Um, your reads for your specific signs are down in the description box below. 
And anything else you want to know about me, you just click the more button. I'm going to go over the Patreon now and finish this up. Thanks.